Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the definite, different definitions of acids and bases. So, way back when, there was a guy named Arrhenius. You guys might remember him when we were talking about activation energy relating the two rates of the equation and uh, temperatures. Uh, but here we're going to look at his definition for the acids and bases. He said anything that was an acid, if you reacted it with water, you get what's called the hydronium ion. Uh, you might see it written as H plus, either or is okay, uh, plus the conjugate base. And if it's a base, its wa reaction with water produces a cation and the hydroxyl. Uh, so the two important delineating factors are these two things right here. Alright? But Brown said and Lowry said, wait, everything's not just reacting with water that behaves like an acid base reaction. Uh, there are some things that involve proton transfer, uh, even though I did choose water here in my example, I apologize, but uh, just because it's a Bronsted Lowry base or acid doesn't mean it doesn't fit the definition of arginous, okay? So th these definitions, as I go further, should fit in the previous definition as well, okay? So in this case, we're looking at a conjugate acid base pair. Uh, by the way, within their pairs, if we have a weak acid, it's a strong conjugate base, or a weak base, it's a strong conjugate uh, acid. In other words, they're reciprocal. Oops, reciprocal in strength. Uh, or strong implies weak. Alright, so let's look at our conjugate acid base pair in this case. This is a base pair, and this is a conjugate acid and base pair. They always differ by one H. That's how you can tell them apart if you're asked to pick them out. Okay, so here you can see that there's an extra H at the beginning that this one does not have. And H3O and H2O clearly exhibits a uh, difference uh, of one proton. So here, uh, the left side has the stronger acid of the conjugate base pair of that and water, and the stronger base, the acetate ion, is stronger than the acetic acid. So the equilibrium will favor this side, the weaker side because the stronger will react and the, the weaker ones won't push the reaction backwards. Uh, so it, it'll proceed from left to right. Okay, Amphoteric or am amphiprotic, both of those mean the same thing, can act as either an acid or a base, depending on what else is present in the equation. Okay. All right, so uh, there are some different types of acid we should consider. Uh, there's the binary acids where we have H and whatever in this box right here uh, this whatever can has to be a non-metal and the more electronegative that is the stronger the acid okay so if you remember the trend of electronegativity goes up and increases to the right alright so compare the two elements that are in the place of this box here and whichever one's further up and to the right is the stronger one acid uh, oxoacids, basically the more oxygens we have on the central atom, the stronger it is. So this one is stronger than that one. And if they have the same number of oxygens like this one, look at the trend of electronegative and electronegativity in bromine is more electronegative than iodine. Alright, then Lewis came along and said, look, everything that behaves a characteristic of acid base reactions doesn't necessarily involve water or protons. There are some cases that have electron sharing that goes on to form the covalent linkage that is not indicative of a uh, um, typical Bronsted-Lowry or Arrhenius reaction. So in this case, if we have an electron donor to form the bond, it's a base. An electron acceptor to form the bond, it's an acid. A lot of people tell you, think opposite of Bronsted-Lowry. Uh, well, that's because they see donator, and, and it should be acid for Bronsted Lowry, right? If you remember the definition, and acceptor is uh, base for Bronsted Lowry, but it's acid here. That's what they mean by opposite. But 
if you just think about it, electron is opposing what the proton would do, so it kind of makes sense that they have to be opposite to find on those words. Here's an example where we form a bond here uh, and no transfer of, of uh, protons. There's no water present, but it's still an acid-base reaction. All right, that was a quick rundown of uh, acid bases. Make sure you can identify acid-base pairs, determine which way the equilibrium will tend to go, and uh, make sure you check out any example videos. Uh, thank you very much, and have a nice day.